In this video, I want to go over more detail with the accordion shortcode. The accordion shortcode is very cool. It is an animated accordion. You've seen that on a lot of websites. I'm using it for this FAQs page right here. So let me show you what this looks like. I only have four FAQs, but they're all working very well with the accordion shortcode. So the way this works is I have it right here and it's SU underscore accordion and then each part of it is called the SU underscore spoiler. But of course, I don't want to teach you code just yet, although it's always good to know what the code is doing anyway. I mean, this is not programming. This is still short codes. So if you want to do your own, let's go ahead and start a brand new page. And we're just going to call this the accordion page. I won't publish it to the menu, but we'll still see it anyway. So now we just want to add the accordion. As usual, we'll click on insert shortcode. The accordion is in the upper right hand corner. You can also get it through the box filter. So let's click on accordion. And as you can see, this one does not have a lot of settings. It's pretty easy. You have a class and you have the accordion. Now, really, it's pretty much just the spoilers that you're going to be working with. And we have these titles and you have the content inside. So really, those are the two pieces of it, okay? The title, which is where we're looking over here, and then the content inside the accordion. So if I click on it, this is the content inside the accordion. So now I will insert it, and I'm just going to type this or change this title. We are in a video lecture. Spoiler content can be, thanks for watching this video. The default accordion gives you three spoilers, but because I previously used it in another page, it stays with, it remembers what you have actually put in. So if you want to add more spoilers, you just basically just copy and paste or cut and paste. I suggest doing it in the text filter or the HTML filter if you have a lower version of WordPress. You can do it in the visual, but then if you do it in the visual, you get all these spaces and you get too many, too much spacing. So keep it in the text because in the text link or the HTML link will filter out all the spacing. Now here, I'm just going to say, just to give you the idea, spoiler to This is the content for spoiler two. And maybe here we'll say more video lectures. Content is I have more courses and lectures on WordPress. And maybe here we'll just say about me or something like that. About me. And then put in whatever text you want about me. Or about yourself. So let's go ahead. Now the one thing I don't understand is that the SU accordion, unless they fix this, it puts the accordion twice. So you have to really just delete one of these and one of the slashes. Just like HTML. You don't want to have two of them. Let's go ahead and save this or publish it. And then we'll look at it. And we'll view the page. Again, this is just like editing a regular page or post in WordPress. So here they are. We are in the video lecture. Thanks for watching the video. Spoiler 2, content for Spoiler 2. More video lectures. I have more courses and lectures on WordPress and about me and then whatever you want to put in there. So it works really well. Now, I think that you can also have some fun by adding CSS classes here. So if we go back and we edit the page, I'm just going to add another one, but I'm also going to show you how to add it to the shortcode itself. So insert shortcode accordion. I also have this in other 
video lectures in this course as well. So you can just say class. You can say accordion, maybe red or something like that. Click insert short code, and it gives you the class. You just put the class in here, just like you do in HTML. For those of you who know HTML, class equals according red, and then you have to change your CSS. You can watch the video lecture on how to change the CSS, which is in this section as well, to show you, I basically show you how to modify the CSS to work with these classes. And basically, that's about it. But again, just put in SU accordion twice, which I don't know why, that might be a bug. So make sure you delete that. This might be fixed in another version of the Shortcodes Ultimate plugin when you install that. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.